the other big event we're focusing on today is, of course, the results of the stress tests. Hugh, if it does lead to regulation that's slightly lighter in touch in the U.S., could that endanger the safety and the soundness of the U.S. system? Uh, well, Mark, uh, no, I'm not sure that's the case. I think uh, the stress tests were a, a great vote uh, that the U.S. banks were in rude health. And I actually thought the recent Mnuchin report was actually far more thoughtful. And actually, if you go through the 149 pages, maybe it's for your summer holiday reading list, <laughs> it's actually very thoughtful. And I, what I found behind the scenes is even the most toughest bank critics actually think it's a well-written report. Now, look, I don't agree with everything in it. I think it's, it underscores the importance of bank regulation to monetary policy, which is clearly one of the big issues at the moment. Um, U.S. banks have shrunk their repos by a trillion dollars in the last five years, and I think it's something they want to reflect on. I think it w focuses on America first, which I think Europeans really need to focus on. It does contemplate looking to stress tests once every second year. Which you're not in agreement with, are you? Well, certainly not in Europe. I think yeah. in the States there are pros and cons. I think it gives more certainty for the banks. But to be honest, I think we've now... I think the stress test were one of the most compelling pieces of new regulation since the Second World War. I think they are really good to have... An, just like we have an annual health check, or your car has an annual check, why shouldn't your bank? But I think in Europe, we haven't learned these lessons, and I think we really need to keep with the, up with these health checks. So what can Europe learn from Mnuchin's 100 or so summer, pay, summer read? Uh, well, I think three things. One is uh, that it's, it's first and foremost about the flow of credit to society. And I think sometimes the financial regulation, whilst very well-intentioned, is quite cumbersome. And we need to think in the round, does it help work? And if we need to bleed a few valves in the system, we should get on and do that. I think two is, uh, is where there are problems, act quickly. And I think that's one lesson, whether it's Veneto in Italy, Popular in Spain, we need to crack on and, and address the issues. And I think third is this connection between monetary policy and bank regulation. I mean, I think we've discussed on Bloomberg before, I think negative rates were one of the biggest policy mistakes of the last year. And I think it's because the central banks didn't understand effectively how the credit transmission system really worked in practice.